Advanced Password Generator is a password generation app available in the App Store. Uh, as you can see, this app is quite simple. It has very little, but uh, very few buttons, and I wouldn't call it overly cluttered. There is uh, an ad bar at the bottom that constantly rolls on. That can get uh, you can get rid of that with a small donation, as this is open source technology, so they aren't requesting uh, a payment to use it. Uh, but a small donation will dis disable those ads. Uh, I'll show you a bit about how it works. Uh, so this app, as you can see in the top green bar there, that is the first password that is generated for you. Uh, basically, we go through here, and these are the set of criteria that they list. So say you're working in an office where it requires you to have quite a difficult password or quite a strong password. Uh, it may require you to use numbers, digits, capitals, and lowercase, as well as symbols. Uh, this last uh, checkbox here. Uh, makes it all unique characters, so there's nothing that repeats itself. As you can see, uh, the letter H has been repeated there quite a few times. If I get rid of it, there are, the same character does not appear twice, making it quite a difficult password to guess. Uh, now the last set of criteria is password length. So you can click here. Uh, some passwords can be as short as six characters, although most, most places now want you to have about a 10 or 12 plus uh, symbol password. Click that there. Okay, so I've got the password length set at 12, and all of my criteria have been selected. Now all I have to do is click this blue button here, and I can generate X number of passwords in a list. Now they're all randomly generated, so this batch doesn't draw from a list. So as you can see here, I've got my 10 randomly generated passwords, all to the criteria that I've set. So I can pick from one of these, I could use, I could save these, and use them uh, as a rolling change, uh, so I could rotate through those, or I could just use this app every time I needed to change my password. Now that's one of the options there, so they're all random characters, so that's quite a heavily encrypted password. As you can see there, it's rated average at 76 bits. I think that's quite a strong password, however you need to go to about 20 characters uh, for this to deem it a strong, strong password. Now the next option here uh, is memorable password, so as you can see the criteria has disappeared from below, and the name up the top of the of the password is is meant to be something memorable so it tries to use words uh, I can do the same thing again and it creates a list so I can pull anything from that list uh, and write it down now this won't enter it into your computer for you uh, so one of the benefits is of entering the lip uh, the list is it makes people feel more assured that when they enter something off this that there's no one pulling this information and recording it. Uh, so you're not copying and pasting, there's no way of them knowing which password you selected and uh, that's them trying to trying to get your trust uh, while using this application. I think it's quite trustworthy, there is absolutely no way uh, they, they can they can pick w which password you've selected or if you've selected a password at all for that matter. That's uh, quite a safe application. Now uh, the last option here is a pronounceable password. Now the pronounceable password has two of the options as you can see below. So you can use capital letters or add hyphens. Now the point of this is to have something that might be easy to remember. So it uses a basic uh, phonetic al algorithm to make the password more, uh, m more easy to pronounce uh, and that's hopefully giving you a better chance of uh, remembering it. Personally I think the memorable password uh, is an easier way of remembering your own password. However, most people write their passwords down nowadays anyway. And that's about it. Like I said, this app is very, very simple, very, very easy to use. It's incredibly user-friendly and perfect in this day and age where you have to create a password for everything and where your online content needs to be secure.